guys welcome to my channel in today's video we're gonna be doing a whole house cleaning um, I'm cleaning the whole house today so I'm gonna start off by opening the windows in the living room I am gonna self clean the oven so I'm just opening the windows so that I can make sure that the fumes don't get trapped in the house and also just to let some fresh air in now the house did get really hot it got up to like 78 degrees even with the AC on so I had to open like every room in the house or every window in every room So I'm starting off by removing the racks out of the oven so that I could put it on self-cleaning mode. I honestly don't really clean my oven like that, but it really needed cleaning. So I watched a few videos on how to self-clean, which they were like very simple. So all I did was took the racks out and put it on self-clean mode. Um, and I set the timer to five hours. All right, so while the stove is cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the kitchen. I like to start on the kitchen because I feel like it is where I should start because that's like where most of the uh, smells come from from my house, like the trash can, old grease and things like that. So I like to start on the kitchen first. So I'm just starting off by emptying the dish rack. I'm just loading my daughter's bottles into her sterilizer. I usually wash them in the dishwasher. I used to hand wash them, but we go through a lot of bottles throughout the day. She drinks about like probably two four to three bottles a day so i don't really have the time to hand wash them though. so i just like to pop them in the dishwasher along with the other dishes have like a few cleaning tips that I want to share that I've actually recently started and they have my house smelling so good um, I feel like having a fresh home along with a clean smelling home is like amazing it makes the home feel more cozy so I'm gonna share a few of those tips as we go along in the video and I'm just gonna let you guys watch me clean up the kitchen and let you listen to the music hopefully if you're cleaning the music can motivate you and also me cleaning can motivate you to clean up so it's gonna let you guys watch me clean the kitchen My daughter is actually home with me today while I'm cleaning so if you see me looking over there I'm just making sure she's okay I literally cleaned the house with my daughter I let her watch a movie um, in the background so that kept her pretty busy while we clean one room at a time so I like to empty my countertops off so that I can make sure I get behind all of the decor and make sure there's no crumbs behind the books and things like that but I like to have my counters cluttered. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I like to have like things on my countertops that I use on day-to-day -day basis, like the lamp I turn it on every day. I like to have my uh, recipe books on there as well. I just like a lot of things on my counter. So I'm using my favorite cleaner right here. It smells so good. I actually bought this last year when I was pregnant and I just fell in love with the smell. So I got me some more. I'm just gonna spray that on the countertops. It smells really good. I really love this cleaner. It does get soapy though. Like when you uh, put water on it, it does get really soapy. But so you have to make sure that you rinse it off with water afterwards. As you can see, the stove is super hot. Like that steam, like the stove was so hot to touch. I think it goes to the highest setting while it self clean. I normally don't do this, but I am going to put some degreaser on the backsplashes only because uh, food has gotten there and I just want to make sure there's no like grease or build up stuff on there. So I'm making sure I clean that off so that it's like squeaky clean.
It took me a full day to clean my apartment because I was watching my daughter today. So we had to do each room slowly. Like I had to make sure she was okay, give her, make sure she takes her nap. So it took me like about, what, two hours just to clean the kitchen. Alright, so I'm just going to put everything back on the counter tops and I like to also wipe the counter down with a dry paper towel just to make sure there's no leftover like cleaning supplies and things like that left on the countertop. So I'm just putting everything back on the counter, all of my decorations and also kind of switching up things. I like to like change the placement of decorations if you will. It makes me feel like I've like bought new decor so I like to, and sort of buying new decor is a tip. You can actually switch like your rooms around. So for example, the living room, sometimes I switch the couch around um, to like a different place in the coffee table and it just makes it look like, look like a brand new room. And on the countertops with the island, I like to use my Myers cleaning spray. I forget the scent that I use. Um, I believe it's lavender, so I like to use that on the island and just wipe it down. Part of the kitchen i think is cleaning out the sink i love cleaning the sink out especially when you get to scrub it with the um, cleaner okay so this is my favorite cleaner the soft scrub cleaner i used to use the pink stuff i used to use their cleaner but it just doesn't like suds up as good as this one and this one it actually makes my kitchen shine afterwards and I like to after I like scrub it really good I like to go behind with some hot hot water like set to the hottest setting and I like to just rinse it off with hot water I believe it's supposed to do that This is my favorite cleaner for the fridge. So I just spray like a lot on there. As you can see, I use a lot of cleaning supplies. Like I use a lot. But yeah, I just sprayed some on the fridge and I wiped it down with the dry microfiber cloth because that is what's going to like buff it and make it shiny. As you can see, it gets really shiny and really clean. And I actually use this on the stove in the microwave. Now the stove I did clean like a little later on in the day because it was too hot to clean obviously. And I'm gonna light a candle for the kitchen and we are done with the kitchen, um, except for like sweeping and mopping, which I'm gonna do afterwards, after the living room. So now we're on to the living room. I'm gonna take all of the pillows off the couch, 
Only because I'm gonna like dust the couch off a little bit. Throughout the week, we get like hair stuck on it, food sometimes, because we kinda, we eat at the, at our couch sometimes. So I just like to dust it off, rake all the trash off of it. I definitely need a vacuum so that I can like vacuum the couch off. But for now, we're just gonna just dust it off with our hand. And I'm going in with some Febreze spray. This is the Unscented brand. Um, as you can see, my daughter's right there <laughs> watching her movie. But I did use the Unscented brand only because I can't be around a lot of fumes. I have to use like lightly scented cleaning supplies. Okay, so this is a little hack that I actually learned on how to have your home smelling fresh. So you just take a dryer sheet. I'm using the lavender scent. That's my favorite scent to use by that brand by Downy. So I just literally wipe the whole couch down with it and along with the throw pillows and literally it has my pillows smelling good and the couch. And I also throw like two to three of those sheets in each pillow like inside the pillowcase. And I've had them in there for about let's say like a week and you can still smell this scent like it definitely helps so you should try that if you want your house to smell more fresh and now we're moving on to the coffee table I'm going in with my favorite spray again and just gonna spray that all over the table and wipe it down And that TV, it, that's the TV in the background. It ugh, irks me so bad. I'm waiting for my husband to get it out of the living room. He's gonna let his brother borrow it, but for now it just sits in the living room and I'm just ready to like decorate that wall. So if you're wondering what that is back there, that is a big TV. disinfecting my daughter's high chair i don't disinfect it daily but i definitely should start doing that i'm just spraying it with some maya spray just to wipe it down because it gets really dirty like every day it gets dirty especially the uh seat so i'm gonna pop her little cushions in the washing machine to let a load wash while i clean, finish cleaning the kitchen So now we're gonna go ahead and mop and sweep the floors. I am sweeping because we don't have a vacuum. That's something that I need to get a vacuum. I don't know why I haven't gotten a vacuum. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe because we don't have any carpet. So here I'm gonna put some Mr. Clean in the mop. I did just buy this mop. I've been using a Swiffer, the Swiffer Wet Jet, and the floors have not been clean. Like every time I use a Swiffer, like the, the pad would be like brown. So I'm like, yeah, this isn't cleaning the floor. So I did buy this mop today so that well the day that i'm filming this video i did buy it and oh the floors felt so much better like when you walk on them bare they felt really clean so i'm happy i got this mop
All right, now we're on to the bedroom. I did wash our sheets earlier. I gave them a good wash along with the duvet cover. And I like to, when I wash my sheets, I like to actually heavily, not heavily uh, scent them, but I do put like scent beads and Tide Pods only because it makes the room smell so good. And also when you lay down, you smell the freshness. So when I wash my sheets and covers, I, def I make sure I put like a good amount of uh, scent beads. Not a lot of scent beads, but I put Tide Pods in it as well. And the Tide Pods really help with the scent. I'm still in the middle of like redecorating our room. So it's really not much to clean here. I just literally wash the sheets, make the bed up, clean off the nightstands um, for now. But I do plan on redoing our bedroom, painting those nightstands, and also getting some new lamps and putting up some like wall decor. And my daughter is just being so good. Like she was just being a really good baby while I cleaned the room. As you can see, she's just walking around doing her own thing and following me too. <laughs> she actually does pretty good when I clean up the room. Um, only because this, she knows this is like where she is like to sleep. She knows this is like the comfy place. So she does really good by herself when I clean the room. room her room is also in the process of being redecorated we're working on getting her another dresser i actually did sell her dresser that i had in the room um i like painted an antique dresser but i sold it because i want to get her something more like i don't know i want to get her like a plain white dresser put some cute animal knobs on it i wanted to do something like that for her i am just cleaning up all of her toys removing um, the clean clothes off the floor And now we're on to the bathrooms. We actually have two bathrooms, but I actually deep cleaned her bathroom off camera only because it took more time and I had to take a break. So I did that like the next day, but I'm just gonna show you guys our bathroom that I'm cleaning in our bedroom. So I'm starting off by just removing all of my face products off the racks and giving that a good wipe because lint does build up up there and oil. For me, cleaning the bathroom is like not my favorite thing to do. Like, I'm just gonna be honest, I do not like cleaning the bathroom. And I'm getting in the habit of cleaning the bathroom once a week because they, the bathroom does get really dirty. Like if you think about it, that's where you do all of your cleaning your body and you know, using the bathroom. So it gets really nasty. So I'm working on implementing cleaning the bathroom once a week into my schedule.
all right so we are all done cleaning thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you guys on the next video bye